Alright, time Hello, for us A. Hey. Jocelyn. <laughs> so, similarities. <clears throat> Back in geometry, we use this symbol. And differences in your science classes, that would be a delta. Changes. And we're supposed to look the, the difference between power functions, so power, power functions, and then the um, polynomial functions. So basically, um, you're comparing the left side to the right side. Does that make sense? And then let's look at B. Madeline's not here? Jesse A, read B for us, please. So, even degree polynomial functions, it's one of these four, put your finger on it, even degree, even degree polynomials is the one in blue, you see it? It's saying, what conclusions can you make about the N behavior? Partner B, whisper to partner A, there's one word that starts the sentence for N behavior. On the count of three, one, two, three. As. Oh. Okay. So you and your partner are going to complete both of these, and then we're going to go over it in about four minutes. Ready, set, go. So, Jasmine, you picked, um, you're going to go over the end behavior, this sentence. And we're going to focus on, this was the left side, right, left, right, so we're going to focus on the left graph, okay? Ready? Read it to me. Uh, Approaches? Approaches. Um. Yeah, remember we always write the same in this box. You said pause at infinity. Oh, yeah, yeah. Pause infinity. Which direction is that? So the x-axis is going which direction? To the right. Yeah, so it's, this is saying going towards the right. What's happening to our graph? Rising. rising. And how do you write rising here? Positive. Correct. Keep going, Jasmine. Which direction does this mean? <coughs> Correct. What's happening to our graph? F of x is your y values. So as you're going towards the left, what's happening there? The roller coaster is going up. How do you say up? Good. Remember this box right here, you're always writing one positive, one negative, and then this base is based off of the graph. Good job, Jasmine. Rafi, go ahead and pick one. Similarity, difference, or end behavior. All right, so this is the right side. Let's focus on this right graph. Right side, go. Correct. Good. Uh huh? Good. Good. Francisco, similarity or difference? Where'd you go? Not here today? Was he here though? Yeah. Kiona, pick one similarity or difference? Pick one. Similar. Okay. <laughs> How are these similar? Uh, 
What do they all have in common? Everyone talk to your partner in 10 seconds. What is similar? <laughs> yes, Kiana? Okay, so some are going up, some are going down. I know that they're going up or down based on their direction, so you could have said maybe what is similar, there's either squiggly solid lines, or I was looking more for the arrows, and the arrows <laughs> is actually referring to, anyone know the technical name? <laughs> End behavior. It's not just about how you start, but it's how you end, finish, okay? All right. <coughs> how about um, Julio? <laughs> how about a difference between the two? Um, <laughs> well, one difference might be the difference between the like, power function and polynomial function, so like, um, some of them are just parabolas and the uh, little squiggly, I mean the little, the odd snaky thing. And then the, the, mm -hmm. the polynomials are like more like, not on the axis, on the x-axis. No, not okay. on the... So maybe you said something the like... Origin, there you go. Some are on, directly on the origin. Yeah. And then the, um, Sometimes they do not, yeah. okay. Um, those refer to the x-intercepts, where it crosses the x-axis. Um, but we've been focusing on another word, and it kind of refers to why some have more squigglies and those do, that do not have as many squigglies, <laughs> or hills. So a power function... So inside it, extremas have how many how many extremas can they have? If you look at this, this has how many extremas? One. How about this one? Zero. Remember, this is not a high point nor a low point. So that in that case, power functions have zero or one extrema. How about the right side? Can they have zero class? So polynomial functions have more than one. Extrema. Right, there's never a situation where it just has zero. So that is our similarity and differences.